I'm a sucker for man v nature movies. I love them. I like Deep Blue Sea, I just did a review in part three of that. I love all those kind of movies. Killer Crocodile, Alligator, Crocodile. All these kind of movies are movies that I genuinely really have an affinity for. When I discovered there was a sequel to Blackwater, a movie that I really did kind of enjoy, I was eager because we've got a killer croc looking for its dinner. What I wasn't expecting was to see a movie that was so formulaic it almost took me out of the movie. And I'm usually very forgiving on these kind of things, but here we're throwing in to these five characters, which seems like a throwaway scene from Home and Away, and then jump into uh, them going uh, cave hunting. They've got this cave that we've discovered, they're going to explore it. Somehow they're going to make money out of this, a business. It's never really explained. We've got two couples and the spare wheel and they kind of go down into this cavern and there is a kind of flash flood and they find themselves stuck in this list, this cavernous area with a hungry crocodile who is extremely territorial. But you can see the building blocks of the movie. Something that takes you out when you can see all the parts really fitting together and you kind of know what's coming next. You have the kind of drama that's built into these group of people who have at a point in their life where things are starting to change. One has overcome chemotherapy, one is pregnant, one suspects her husband or partner is cheating on her, one who just wants to make a fast buck and it's just a group of people that have this over elaborate connection to each other who are all interfering with each other's lives in one way or another and throughout this terrible ordeal a lot of people are going to get eaten and a lot of dark secrets are going to come to the front and it just feels typical of these kind of things i had zero interest in any of the characters to the point where i couldn't tell you any of their names but there is a character in this that i really did kind of like the crocodile i was cheering him on to kill all of these people because I just didn't care about any of them and for the most part most of the special effects were actually really good and some nice shocky moments within it. Uh, there is of course the typical moments that just go why are you doing that? There is a part where there's two people uh, in the water and uh, our heroine watches a man get snapped up in the jaws of the alligator and it's busy with this man. Now, she can't do anything about it. She's too far away to interfere. He is literally dinner and is gone. You see him kind of get towed down and, and rolled about in the water. And the whole time I'm thinking, why are you just watching this? Why are you watching this screaming and flapping about in the water? Why aren't you fleeing? This crocodile's killed several of your friends. It is probably going to come and get you next get the heck out of there but they just stand there and watch in the water going oh no please don't trying to rationalize with this animal which is doing what animals do it's just silly beyond silly in the latter third of the movie up until then there are some genuine moments where the tension is built you're waiting on the jump scare it might come it might not in these moments are genuinely not too bad at all. When we get to the finale of the movie, it gets to the point of almost ridiculousness where I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. Two of our group managed to escape, get into the vehicle that they arrived in and start to drive away. For some reason, they're driving at an irrationally high speed. They go in a crash through a bush and suddenly, wait for it, end up in the river that somehow connected to the cave and now the crocodile has come after them trying to get more food. <sighs> yeah. Blackwater Abyss is... it's not that great. If you had a group of people over, you wanted to throw something on in the background, pizza, beer, you could do worse because you don't need to keep your full attention. You can miss large swaths of the movie and still know exactly what's happening and what's coming next. It's that kind of movie. Good core. 
good deaths. I really wanted the crocodile to win. I'd love to know your thoughts on this one. And if you love man v nature movies, what is your favourite one? What's the kind of schlocky B movie nobody's heard of where humans are against some kind of crazy animal? Let me know your pick for more things that I can check out in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.